Um, okay, so Sam Cox tweeted me an observation that just hadn't occurred to me when we were talking about the Android, uh, the Android pattern lock, and he said numeric passcodes are also entered on a three by three grid. So I, I guess technically three by four, but so he said, so aren't they also vulnerable to the Android pattern lock attack? And it's like, yes. Uh, come to think of it, they are. Because the whole point of that was that you just you have limited spatial uh, resolution on a large grid, and what you're looking at it at is relative motion, and so the the pattern lock uh, exact the, the pattern lock attack exactly attacks a a, a low resolution keypad grid in exactly the same way. So, you know, bravo, Sam, for that observation. I thought that was great. And, and Leo, uh, the second picture of that we have here in the show notes, it's just sort of sad. You know, snarky as always, the register called, the register.co.uk called this a touching Note 7 tribute which was the Samsung battery factor, the fa battery factory, which burst, spontaneously burst into oh, flame. Lord. Now, the good news is nobody was hurt. And, and you know, my takeaway was just sort of shaking my head. It was when you are recalling a huge number of batteries because they are prone to spontaneous combustion, it would be best not to store them in what amounts to a large, and this is my term, Fukushima pile. Yeah. You know, it's just... This is actually where they're <laughs> recycling the Note 7 batteries, yes, right? right, right. So they say, so, you know, they were like all being returned and they, they were, they had, this was the re recycling facility. And unfortunately, I mean, maybe they just couldn't get to them all. I mean, you know, clearly, you know, I've, I did a lot of travel when was it? I guess over the holidays. And oh, yeah. every without fail, every yeah. every single gate that you're at, the the attendants are reminding us now, if you have a Note 7, yeah. uh, you need to just, you know, not bring it on the plane because you can't do that. So and, and but think about it, Leo. I mean, look, think about how many of them there were that none of them are trusted, yet the battery has to be taken apart. I mean, it needs to be the, the 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 device needs to be opened and the battery needs to be unwrapped because essentially it was a it was wrapped over itself and the corners were bent and it was just manufacturing problems but i never really thought about the the problem of disposing of these well we but, had talked I mean, about this uh, on the new screensavers with Kyle Weens of iFixit he says he doesn't know of a recycling factory that hasn't had a lithium ion battery fire this wow. is very common wow. because if you puncture a lithium ion battery in air, yep. if you breach it, it yep. will it will burst into flame. And he says this is the real problem with these uh, batteries that you know everybody's using now that are not in a protective sh shield. They they're very hard to recycle. And he said everybody has fires. This is universal now. Yeah. So you got to be. I guess you're prepared about that, right? Yeah.